Everybody, Spartan here for the daily recap, March 2nd, 2022. Let's take a look at what happened today. So market opened up. Uh, my initial thought was if we were below the 50, or sorry, below the pivot, we would sell off. We reclaimed it pretty quick out the gate. And I said, you know, if we hold the pivot, let's be bullish. I mean, that's just how pivots work. We held the 420, uh, 431.21 pivot. So we were bullish on the market today. We actually swung some 440 calls for Friday into today as well, which ended up going up 100%, which was nice. Uh, but overall, we basically played things out the uh, gate on the long side. So some of the stuff that we did take intraday on the equity side, and as always equity uh, hit rate was pretty high today. But uh, we did test the long right out the gate from 873. We played it into the 886, which is pretty nice for about 10 points um, to the upside there. We had EPAM long, which we took at the 223 level. And we played that to the 250s. Again, nice little trade. We also added into it on the flag here. Um, back Added back into it on the flag there. So almost a, uh, what, 26, 27 point trade. Decent little trade there. DWAC, we played that long out the gate this morning as well. Played that pop into the hundreds. We ended up exiting that um, or getting stopped out the rest of it at our entries. We grabbed it at 97.88. Stopped out the rest at 98s. Uh, Tesla, we, we tried it a couple times um, intraday. We tried it on the short side, didn't work on the starter, tried it on the long side. Um, after the morning move, didn't work. And then we tried it again long at the end of the day, which worked. So not bad. Two, two good trades and then two starters that didn't work. CRM, we shorted this right out the gate. That had a really nice sell off for us. We also rolled into 195 puts and those ended up working quite nicely. The video we took long, this ended up stopping us out this morning on that volatility, basically that whipsaw action. If I had a little bit of a wider stop, it would have been fine, but unfortunately that started didn't work. We were short mRNA this morning, which worked out nicely as well um, to the downside. UPST, we took short and then we ended up taking it off um, when we saw the market holding up. So that was a good idea to you know exit that position. Uh, what else did we do? H or sorry, Twilio. We took short. That one ended up not working. We were long HD, which ended up working nicely. We were long UPST. Whoops. UPST at the end of the day there, for a continuation push to the upside, and we did that twice for a couple points each time. So it was a good little trade there. Uh, we also did some AMD on the long side, scalp that, which worked out nicely. Uh, we tried some LMNT short, which didn't work. RNT long which was a nice little trade from five bucks. And in the 550s, we're swinging that. We did triple M as well from 460s into the five level. We scalped some Indo at the end of the day there on the long side into the 515s, which worked nicely. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have saw the RNT and uh, Indo as well. Facebook, we were on the long side um, intraday for a nice little push into the, let's zoom up, 880 uh, area, sorry, 20880 area. That worked out okay. And that was pretty much it. I mean. It was a, for sure a choppy day. Oh, we did some DDOG as well at the end of the day there for a little scalp to the upside. But yeah, for sure a little bit of a choppy day uh, on the uh, overall in the market, but we, I think we managed it quite well. On the option side, we actually did quite well on the option side. I think better than the, the equity now that I'm looking at it. Much better. So we were in win 90 calls, which worked out nicely. ABBV uh, 150s out the gate, which went up over 100%. MU, we were in the 90 calls, 93s and 95s, which all worked out nicely. 93 calls we held basically the entire day. We're swinging the rest of them, but almost a 300% trade on that. We took some uh, CVX scalp out the gate, which worked out pretty good. The 160s right out the gate, basically we took it long. And obviously we got a nice little push on that. We were along some Qualcomm, which we got a nice little push. We took JWM 28s, which worked out nicely. Uh, Roku, we were in the 120 puts which ended up working nicely. We were in Zoom puts as well. We ended up cutting these off flat and flipping to calls, which ended up going about up 48%. So that was a decent little uh, trade long and flip. Uh, CVX, we also, we actually CVX, we were in two, two sets. We were in 155s and 160s out the gate. 160s went up over 100%, 155s did quite well as well. We took BGFV on that relative strength this morning. This was basically a playoff of JWM. I figured we could get a little bit of a squeeze on this. We took 1750s, which worked out nicely for 100%. And pretty much, uh, we were in Rivian puts, which were about a 30% trade. I'm just looking for stuff that didn't work. We had the Roku puts, worked out nicely. CRM, low calls, which we got about 30% on. Uh, there was some stuff that didn't work. I mean, we took RSX uh, calls as a lotto. 
that trade obviously didn't work. It was, you know, pushing and, and uh, halting to the upside. Probably could have taken it off for 25, 30%, but that ended up not working. And other than that, yeah, pretty pretty high hit rate on the option side today, actually. Swung a couple things overnight. We'll see where we uh, end up. But yeah, pretty interesting day. Now, like I said, market did close above EMA support. I was expecting some sort of continuation tomorrow uh, to the upside. But of course, we'll see what happens with the Ukraine and Russia talks in regards to the ceasefire. You know, should be interesting. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go to SpartanTrading.com. We do stream from 8 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m. every single day. Discord chat's open 24-7. We also have a swing chat as well if you're not into day trading. That has you know investment ideas, uh, you know credit spreads, all that type of stuff, income generation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions? Go to SpartanTrading.com. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, and for a limited time, guys, for the next couple days, we are doing this um, where if you show us that you've donated to uh, Ukraine, and you know we're not affiliated with any of these um, any of these uh, charities at all. We're just you know if you guys show us that you are or have donated and you have a screenshot, just send it to us. We'll send you a couple days for free, you know, just to support the Ukraine there. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And yeah, have a great rest of the day, guys. See ya.